Hi, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video I'm going to show you how to synchronize the stock levels in a file with your inventory in WooCommerce. So right now I don't have any products in WooCommerce, so I'm going to import some right now. I have this XML file um, of a bunch of solar related products. So we're going to import these to new WooCommerce products. 41 products in this file. We'll set our product title, our description, preview. We need to fix the HTML. So we check the decode HTML entities box, preview. There we go. And now we want to import our SKU. And we're going to use this SKU later to match the stock levels because both our products have an SKU and the stock levels that we're going to import to them later also have an SKU. We're going to set the list price. And we could import the inventory from this feed right now, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to set all these products to out of stock, and then we're going to import the stock levels from this file later. Images. And that's all for now. Let's run our import and then let's synchronize the stock levels into this import. So I'm gonna run this import. Might take a minute to download 40 images, so I'll come back when that's done. Okay, our import is now complete. Let's take a look at those products. So here they are. They're all out of stock. Here's a result on the site. We got everything we need except the stock levels. Product is out of stock. So what we're gonna do is we have the stock levels file, it's online, and the stock levels are all associated with the product SKU. So for SKU 10018, the stock quantity is 8. For SKU 10020, the stock quantity is 37. For SKU 51586, the stock level is actually 0. This one's out of stock. For 51785, it's 12. So what we want to do is set up an import with WPL import to import all the stock levels in this file into the products that exist already on our site. So how do we do that? Well, we go to new import. We're gonna download this from a URL. So copy and paste. And the reason we're gonna download this from a URL is because after we do that, we can configure a cron job to continually check this URL for updates. So whenever our inventory changes, Maybe our inventory management system will upload a new stock levels file right here, and then WPL import will use a cron job to automatically re-import that file, keeping your stock levels automatically up to date at all times. So we're going to import this stock levels file into existing WooCommerce products. We're not going to create new WooCommerce products because we just want to import the data from here into our stock fields right here. We want to enable stock management, import to the stock quantity, and set the stock status to in stock if the product's in stock. So let's go back to the import. We're importing to existing WooCommerce products. Continue to step two. Now we have stock levels for 649 products in this feed, but we only have 41 on our site. That's fine. We're going to set WPL import to ignore the stock levels for all the products that are listed in the stock levels feed, but that we don't actually have on our site. Now for the title and content, it doesn't matter what we set here. We could leave it blank or anything. It doesn't matter. We're only importing the stock levels, so none of these other options matter. We'll go to the WooCommerce add-on, inventory. Yes, we want to manage the stock. We'll set the stock quantity just by dragging and dropping, dragging and dropping the value that contains the stock quantity to the stock quantity box. And then we're going to choose to set the stock status automatically. Now that means it'll set the stock status to in stock if our quantity is one or more and out of stock if our stock quantity is zero. So we use set automatically to do that. And that's all we need to do here because the only thing we're doing is importing stock levels. So we'll now continue to step four. And this is where we tell WPL import which stock should be assigned to which product. So when WPL import imports these products, it's going to look through the it's going to let's say it's going to be processing record number one it's going to say well how do i know which product 
the stock level from record number one belongs to? How does it know to put this stock quantity in, say, this product or another product? So we tell it to do that with something called manual, manual record matching, and we do that with custom fields. So WooCommerce stores the product SKU in a custom field called underscore SKU. And our stock levels file also has SKU numbers. So we're going to put the SKU number in the stock levels file as the value for the custom field. So what this setting is doing is telling WPL import when it's processing record number one to look through all existing products for a product that has a custom field called underscore SKU that has value of CWR SKU and then import the stock quantity from this record to that product. Then WPL import will move on to record number two, number three, number four, and so on. So for record number four, it will say, okay, look for an existing product with an SKU with the value of this, and then import the stock quantity to that product. And we only want to import stock quantities. So we don't want to create any new posts from all those extra records. We don't want to delete any posts. And we don't want to update all of the post data. We only want to update the stock quantity. We don't want to change the title, the post status, the author, or any of this other stuff. So we're going to uncheck all of that. We only want to update the stock levels. Stock levels are stored in custom fields. We don't want to update all of our custom fields because those also store things like the price. So we're going to choose to only update these custom fields. And the custom fields WooCommerce uses for stock is stock, stock status, and manage stock. So we'll enter in those three fields. Everything else is going to be ignored. And let's go to the products page before you run the import to see all the products as out of stock. And now let's continue and run the import. You notice a lot of records here being skipped. Now the reason for that is we only have 41 products on our site, but 649 products in our stock levels file. So we're only going to update the stock levels for the products on our site and skip all of the other records. Okay, the import is now complete. There are 608 warnings. That means 608 records in the file were skipped. Let's go to products and let's refresh. And now we see our new stock levels. It's imported zero and out of stock for these four. It's imported in stock in seven, 22, four, five, 11, et cetera. So that's how to import and synchronize stock levels with WPL import. Now you're probably gonna wanna set up a cron job so WPL import can check this file, let's say every 24 hours and continually keep your site up to date. To do that, just click cron scheduling and follow the instructions on that page. Okay, thank you for watching.